Hey guys, today I'll do a brief review and upgrade the firmware for the Crestron HDMD 400 CE kit. As usual, since we're dealing with a Crestron device, let's launch Toolbox. Let's click on the device discovery tool. Hmm, what's wrong? Not detecting anything? Let me do an IP scan to see if I can detect it on the network. Okay, here it is. Let's try to open it using HTTP. Okay, now let's log in. The default username and password should be admin admin, unless it was updated. Now before we go any further, I would like to point out that the device models you see on the hardware for these kits do not match what you see when you log in. Here is some documentation from Crestron clarifying this. Let's take a quick look at the tabs on the left to see the configuration options they offer. Let's check out the routing page. Let's label the inputs with the input type as the name. Click save name and let's go to the input tab. The first option on this tab is global EDID, which is set to DM default, which is fine for this video. You also have the option to upload your own custom EDID file. As you can see, the input names were transferred to this tab as well, which makes it dynamic and great UX practice. There are many features in here including custom EDID, HDCP support, priority per port, and port routing priority support. Let's check out the output page. Here we have the option to name the room's output device, so let's do that. In this case, let's call it room display. And let's click save name. Let's check out the automatic power settings. Here it's enabled and power off is set to happen 60 seconds after no signal is detected from the output of any of the presentation devices. It uses CEC which stands for consumer electronic communications to accomplish this task. Now let's take a quick look at the network page. Here we can configure the host name and IP address of the receiving unit. Okay, here on the device page, we have many device options to disable the front panel, lock and LED lights, OSD and password options, RS-232 and IR settings. Saving and loading configs. But since we're here to upgrade the firmware, let's proceed with that. Let's go to Crestron.com and download the firmware for the receiver unit we're connected to. Search for it. Click on it. Scroll down. Click on downloads and documentation. Scroll down. 
comparative version on the current device versus what is available. We do need an update, so let's download it. For best practice purposes, let's check out the release notes quickly. We have nothing to be concerned about. Let's move on. Click on download now. Okay, it's downloaded. Don't forget to extract the zip file after downloading it. Now let's go to the device page. Scroll down to firmware and select browse. Point it to the location where you extracted the firmware. Double click on it, then click load. It will prompt you to ask you if you're sure you want to update the firmware. Click OK to proceed. Okay, it's been a while. Let's see if the device rebooted by pinging it. It's unreachable, but I think it's using my Wi-Fi NIC. Let's do an IP scan. Okay, good. IP 192.168.1.100 is my wired network card. Okay, so it's on DHCP and now the Crestron device has the IP address of 192.168.1.152. Okay, great. As you can see, the firmware for both devices the general and upstream device is updated to version 2.01.2265. Like, comment, request videos, and subscribe. Till next time.